Hi, this is Gary Sheep again, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how turn count works on an iPod Touch right now, rather than the iPad in a previous video. Okay, this is an iPod Touch 4th generation. Okay, I'm going to start the regular turn count here. Okay, and uh, this is the main menu. Um, it's the same main menu selection as with the, the iPad version. Uh, the difference is just the layout here. Let me zoom in here and see if I can get a better shot. Okay. Um, quickly through the menus, intersection count information here, uh, business information to include on the header of the output. Intersection geometry, three-way intersection. You also have the option for four-way. Uh, I'm going to leave it on four-way for this example. Uh, settings. Uh, settings here, you have the either type of user interface, the classic interface, which uses virtual buttons or the hyper interface. A five-minute or 15-minute bins. And uh, you have vehicle class uh, classifications. You can turn trucks on or off and bicycles on and off. I'll leave both on for this demonstration. Uh, settings, I want to make sure I have hyper interface on. It's the one I prefer. And uh, let me show you a, a quick base account here. Uh, layout screen is very similar to the iPad. A uh, slight difference here, uh, the graphics. Uh, these graphics are using the Retina Display graphics for uh, the Retina Display used on the iPod Touch 4th generation and it's also used in the iPhone 4. I'm going to push the button to start it and uh, and go ahead and start counting it with the gestures. Uh, touchstones are allow for variability. You don't have to be right on it again either. Uh, for the northbound southbound direction, I have it set up for right side driving. But if you happen to live in a country that has uh, left side driving, you can use it the same way and just ignore the graphics uh, in the background. Uh, I'm considering adding a graphic that shows it differently just for uh, countries such as New Zealand, Australia, and the UK. But uh, as you can see, uh, you don't have to be on top of the hour to have it work. Uh, pedestrians, uh, same way. Just move, slide, wipe it across the street, schedule to be crossed. Uh, vehicle classifications. Um, I know indicating in some of the iTunes review comments uh, about truck classifications if you do it too quickly. And, and that is a correct statement for uh, the virtual button interface. But as you can see from the hyper interface, you can go very quickly and, and not classify trucks by accident. To classify trucks, it's a double tap, then a swipe in the direction. And you, for a turning movement, you can either go in the through the geometry of the intersection as shown here or, or just go in the direction of the arrow. I find it a lot easier with the direction of the arrow to do a quicker count. Uh, bicycle, as I showed earlier, not meaning to, if you hold it down long enough and go in that direction and indicate a bicycle for a bicycle classification gesture, if your finger's in touch with the screen for 0.55 seconds, so you could do the slow one. If you wanted to do like a different type of gesture, like if you want to put a circle in it, that helps to make sure that it's going to be long enough also. Uh, and uh, those are the vehicle classifications. Uh, something a little different here is how you end it. Uh, rather than having a button like in the first version to end it in the middle, uh, some people indicated they were touching it by accident. Uh, I put the end feature in the accelerometer. So you shake it and then ask if you wants the is counting completed. Say yes. Uh, output. There is no preview of the output in either the iPhone 4 or the iPod Touch version. Um, this is the output I just selected. I got an email here. Uh, let me send it to an address I have set up on this. Okay, this is all day well address. Actually, it didn't send it. I sent the mail. Go to the mailbox. Sending it. Let's come back. This is the count I just took. I'm going to open it in the document reader of Goodreader this time. Okay, I'm going to 
unzip the file and uh, in that I'll have the four different types of output. I have a comma separated value output, HTML output the summary, a PDF output, and also a, a VOL uh, which corresponds to the universal traffic data format to input into single timing programs such as Synchro. This is the PDF output of that output I just collected, a data. First page, second page, and there's the third page with the graphic showing it. Um, and that concludes my presentation on a uh, turn count for uh, iPod Touch and also the same way it looks on the iPhone 4. Thank you.